Hi guys, it's Elisa here, or The Diamond Stitcher, as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time it is for you. I hope you are having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond pinning. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. You know it means a lot to me. We have a Diamond Art Club sneak peek today. I'm very excited to share this kit with you. First off, I want to say thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit to share with everybody. I uh, am very grateful. If you are new to Diamond Art Club and you're looking at making your very first purchase with them, I do have a code that you can use to save 15% off at checkout, and that code is my name, A-L-Y-S-A-1-5. So that's Alisa15, and that will save you 15% off your very first order with Diamond Art Club. Uh, we can tell right away based on the blue branding that this is going to be a square diamond painting. It's also peeking out here. Uh, but let's go ahead and reveal the image. This is called Gift from the Void by artist Raven Phelan. And this is a square diamond painting, 60 centimeters by 85 centimeters. Isn't that image just gorgeous? My jaw dropped when uh, I saw the thumbnail of this image. I thought that just so magical. So let's take a look at the box if you are new. On the back, you're gonna find everything you need to know on how it works, so how to diamond paint, what to expect in your kit, the usual disclaimers. And then on the side of the box, don't forget to take advantage of this discount code. I'm going to show you a few discount codes in this video alone. Uh, this one will get you 10% off. Let me just zoom out a little bit and let's open up this box. So I cut the plastic off. It does come covered in cellophane. I cut that off before filming just for ease. And let's take a look at what's inside. This kit will be one of the releases. I hear something in the box. This kit will be one of the releases for October 14th. I will tell you more about that when we get uh, to the, the end of the video. Inside your box, you're going to get a few things. So we get our Diamond Art Club painting in its dust sleep. We get a sticker and a toolkit. These things fell out of the toolkit, but I'm going to open it anyways in a few minutes. First, let's take a look at the small sticker here. A lot of people will use this sticker in their paper logbook. I don't. I actually use it for storage purposes. I either stick it right on this plastic bag or I stick it on the end of my box if I'm going to be storing it back in the box. It's just an easy way for me to see uh, what diamond painting is where without uh, having to open everything. Uh, but here is our small sticker. It has all of the information on it. So again, this painting is called Gift from the Void by artist Raven Phelan. It is a square diamond painting and it's gonna measure 60 centimeters by 85 centimeters. Inside the painting is a big sticker sheet. I'm gonna show you that image because there's a lot of detail in here you can't see on this. Again, it is a 60 by 85 centimeter. Let me open up our toolkit and see what else is in here. Looks like we've got pink. So we get a matching pen and a squishy. The colors in your kit may vary from mine. Comes with a single placer and Diamond Art Club sends two multi-placers as well. These are their plastic thin placers. If you really like these plastic placers and you wanna try uh, metal multi-placers, I highly recommend the metal placers from Diamond Art Club. I've been using them every time I diamond paint since I've purchased them and I'm absolutely loving how they work. We get a little cover minder. Now your cover minder may vary as well in color and in type. I got a little seashell here. Cover minder has two magnets. One is glued on, the other is free. This little seashell will go on top of the canvas and this magnet goes underneath. And what it does is it helps hold back that plastic uh, while you're diamond painting. I also use these to secure release papers into place if they're not sticking quite right. We get our little heart caddy with two plates of wax, more than enough to finish this diamond painting. There is a protective cover on both sides, so make sure you are peeling that off before you try and load your pen. Otherwise, it just won't work. We have the basic white diamond painting tray, and this little piece here is called a stopper. And it doesn't really matter which way it goes in, as long as you're not forcing it in. Uh, it goes easy each way, so it doesn't matter which way. Uh, and what it does, it prevents diamonds from flying out when you're shaking your tray. 
With every Diamond Art Club square diamond painting, we get the tweezers. They do not come in round kits, just a reminder. These are metal and they are very sharp, so be careful when you're using them and keep this little plastic cover on when not in use. Also keep them away from kids. And we also get this washi tape. This is also going to be random design. Uh, there are a few different uses for washi tape. I do have a video where I outline a few of those. The most common is seeing it um, around the drill field to cover any excess glue or to grid the canvas into small sections. Let me just move the toolkit out of the way. And let's get into the diamond painting. So this dust sleeve is great. I always keep the diamond paintings back. I put them back in this sleeve when I'm done unboxing them. Depending on how sticky the glue is, it is resealable. Helps keep pet hair and dirt and dander and all sorts of stuff from uh, attaching to your diamond painting. Diamond Art Club canvases are super high quality. They've got a very plush, soft backing here. And let's unroll this one. I'm going to flip it over like this and I'm actually going to roll it backwards. So um, because Diamond Art Club is a superior quality and they do use poured glue, what you can do is roll it backwards on itself just like this and it's just going to help it lay a little bit flatter. Uh, the canvas does have some amazing magical power of self-flattening. And if you do leave it laying flat for a while, it will level itself out. This just makes it happen faster. <laughs> wow, this image is breathtaking. I highly recommend uh, you check out this artist's website. She has a very interesting history and very interesting stories behind each, each art piece that she does. I highly recommend checking out her website. Uh, I will link that in the description box down below, but let's look at this image. I'm not gonna be able to get it all in frame, but we will um, pull it up and down. So we'll take a look at the top of the image first. Beautiful dragon here. I love the colors in this image. I love the, the gold added. I wonder if that's going to be a special dime. It doesn't look like it. Looks like a normal one. I, I foresee myself blinging this out with some sort of sparkly sparkly diamond i don't know if you're like me but when you look at a canvas i always am like where can i add some special bling look at all of this glowing beautiful so we've got our dragon and he's holding an egg you can see his scales on the sides here let me just pull it up a little bit more you can see all of his dragon scales on the sides that's going to be really pretty amazing so let me just pull it down back down like this um let's go over the canvas if you are new so at the top we have their branding do what makes you sparkle diamond art club their edges are poked and scalloped this helps prevent fraying however when i finish my diamond paintings i paint the borders black and i cut them in half i've never had a diamond art club canvas fray even when i've cut it so Quality of the canvas is top notch. We've got a schematic or a legend on the top left of the canvas and also on the bottom right over here. So you, you've got one on both sides. At the bottom of the canvas down here, we have our thumbnail of the image and then all of the information here. Pasting area, that refers to the area where there's glue or where the diamonds are going. Uh, again, a reminder that this is called Gift from the Void. It's 60 centimeters by 85 centimeters. And our artist here, uh, Diamond Art Club, only sells legally licensed artwork. That means the artist not only is given their permission for the use of the artwork, but they're also being uh, fairly compensated or paid, which is really important in the crafting community. Down here, we have another discount code. Take 10 for 10% off. Here are the links to Diamond Art Club's business uh, social media accounts. Make sure you follow them on either one of these. This is where you will see them sneak peek what images are coming out for the week. Uh, so before all of us uh, creators get our sneak peeks to share with you, um, they've been previewing them all week on their uh, business page. So that's separate from the VIP Facebook group. I know I hear people ask about that a lot. Um, often you will have people, members of the VIP Facebook group, 
uh, screenshot the, the sneak peeks over there. Uh, but to see them yourself, you just have to go to this uh, link there. This is a reminder that as long as you are the original purchaser, you do have a lifetime warranty with all of your Diamond Art Club canvases. Uh, that includes any issues you may run into with diamonds, with glue, with the canvas, uh, with the stickers, anything you can think of. Reach out to support. And I also hear a lot, where's that support email? It's at the bottom of every canvas in the bottom right. There it is. Let's go over what else came in our package here. So of course we've got a huge bag of diamonds. But let's go over these things first. So first off, we have our little thank you brochure with a quick message from the founder of the company. Inside we have our kit contents, a couple different languages, tips and tricks, and another thank you code. So I think this is a third, third or fourth thank you code I've shown you already. There are discount codes everywhere. And if you didn't know, the VIP group has their own discount code as well that you can use on every purchase. Uh, here is that QR code to get to that VIP Facebook group. Once you've made your first purchase, they will allow you to join. It is for customers only. And then here is another QR code that will take you to Diamond Art Club's instructional video. I do also have some of my own um, instructional videos in my tips and tricks playlist section of my YouTube channel. You can find a beginner video as well as a multi-placing video and how to work with square video. We have step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond paint here again in a few different languages, which is nice. And on the very back, if you did not know, they do also sell uh, by the app. So either iPhone or Android. If you download that app and make your first purchase, you will get 20% off. So that's awesome if you didn't know that. This is the sticker sheet that I use in my paper logbook. I like this image because it's big. We can see all of the detail and all of the beautiful color in the image. That is just gorgeous. Lots of blues and lots of dark colors, but they've got pops of probably pink. We'll see once we open the diamonds, pink and purple. We've got yellows as well. I think that uh, whole center of this uh, element down here is just gonna glow right off of the page. Looking at the sticker sheet here, 55 colors. In Diamond Art Club, they do their best here, as you can see, to make sure one is one, two is two, three is three. Usually goes down to about eight or nine. In Diamond Art Club's numbering system, any number here under 150 is going to be an AB diamond. So in this kit, we have five. Looks like we're gonna have a green, a red, a blue, a yellow, and a white. And I will show you what AB diamonds are once we open the diamonds. And then these are all of our regular DMC numbers with very clear symbols. And then at the bottom, this is where Diamond Art Club puts any of their other special diamonds they're going to use in a diamond painting. This one has a Z726. So from experience, I know this will be a fairy dust diamond. So I will show you where that, uh, what it looks like and where it goes in a bit. These stickers are individually cut and peelable. So you can just peel and stick uh, onto your containers or your baggies, however you're kidding up. And then you do have a few left over that you can save for future use. I am going to fast forward through the crinkle while I uh, get these diamonds out of this bag. The one thing to note that's always great is this bag always comes labeled with the name of the canvas. So if you are to separate your canvas from your bag of beads, you'll be able to easily match them up when you're ready to work on the kit. As expected, we've got lots of shades of blue. Uh, let's open this up here. So Diamond Art Club, they sort their diamonds based on weight. And of course, we're upside down. They sort their diamonds based on weight, so not in numerical order. So what I do is I kind of just grab a bag and we go through it. I think this is going to be the most, um, or maybe there's a tie. So right away, we have 939. Uh, sorry that the, the glare from the window, it's hard to see these. But 939, we have one, two, three, four, five, six bags of 939, which is a very pretty deep blue. We have one, two, three, four, five bags of 823. It's a little bit of a lighter blue than the 939. We've got three bags of 310. Ooh, this is really pretty color. Uh, two bags of 3808, it's a nice teal. 
Then we've got two bags of 336. Sorry, these diamonds are unruly. They're falling on the floor now. Uh, four bags of 336. We've got one bag of 783 and 3842, 3829. And we have two bags of 803 and one bag of 311. They kind of look similar. Then we have two bags of 742. Oh, wow. We have two bags of the Fairy Dust Diamond. So this Fairy Dust Diamond is Z726. As you can see, it's a yellow. And it is hard to get the coating to really show up on the screen without opening these. Um, on the very top, there is a very, very shiny coating. Uh, almost like eyeshadow or mica powder. A uh, very subtle glittery effect. Uh, they look different than the ABs and they add just a, another depth of sparkle to your diamond painting. You can kind of see it there on the diamonds that are facing up. So there's two bags of that. I'll show you where that goes uh, once we're through the strips. Let's continue on. So we've got one bag of 520. We've got uh, 824 and 517. 844, 611, 839. 3363, 312, 780, and an AB diamond. So this is AB 141, one of the most common colors, I would say. AB diamond has a special coating on the top that makes it shine a little bit differently than that fairy dust diamond we saw. As you can see, depending on the way the light hits them, we have all different colors bouncing off there. Uh, it's meant to mimic the northern lights. Let me just set these up. So we are ready to show you. Here we go. 518, 918, 3041. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Look at that blue. That's an AB 120. Man, the coating, I swear they've updated the coating on the ABs as well. It just, to me, it just shines so perfectly. There's no scratches on the coating, no imperfections. They're basically perfect in my opinion. Um, we'll show you that where, where that goes in the end. Um, next we have 368, 3364, 327, 3803, 947. I just love the vibrancy of some of their colors. It's just so bright and vibrant. Uh, 162. And then we have an AB 100 here, which is a little bit of a green. You can see that coating there as well. We have got 155, 3772, 351, 156, 966, and I think this might be our last AB, 114, which is a red. Then we've got 740, 741, and 758. Oops, I lied. We have, I see another uh, AB in the other strip. Hold on, I'm just getting everything sorted so I don't have to go through these again. I've got this little strip of 3371, 792, and 744. And our last strip here, 333, a beautiful purple. And then we've got a yellow AB, so this is 129. More purple, 550 and 3810. 3857, 791, 807, 809, 3766, 3837. So there you go for all of the diamonds. If there is ever something that you didn't catch, I spoke too quickly, or you couldn't understand me, or you forget how many bags of a certain number there are and, and you want um and want to know, just leave a comment down in the video. I try and remember to get back and check the sneak peek uh, video comments during the day uh, that the video is released in case people have questions before they purchase the kit. So if you ever have questions, try to get it up there and I will do my best to answer it before um, the sales go live. Let's see where some of these special diamonds go. So I'm just going to start at the top, which is AB100. Let me grab this. So AB100 is this green. There's not much of it actually. And it's a number one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look with my eyes and then I'm gonna move the canvas um, as needed. So we're gonna see some of it down here. In his little snout here, there's gonna be some of that green AB around the tip of his nose too. 
And then there's going to be some in the, um, the element of the eggs here. I don't know if it's filigree or kind of like gears. There's some down in here too. Yeah, there's not too much of it. Most of it's up in his little snout here that I can see. And then a little bit in a couple spots in uh, this egg here. Uh, the next one is going to be the red one, which is 114. That's this color here. So again, there's not too many of that one. And I bet you that's actually on the other side of the canvas. Let me just double check. So there are a couple in this little red element here. I don't want to zoom in too close, but uh, there's a few here, none on this side. There's one little one over here. And then that where we see most of it is in his eye. So the red of his eye there is going to be that red AB. So that's going to sparkle. I'm seeing one. See, now I zoomed in too far. I'm seeing one single diamond over here, two over here. I don't think I'm seeing oh, a little bit up here and a little bit up here. So where you see the, the little areas where you see red, there is likely going to be a little bit of that red AB. The next AB is a blue and that is number 120. Pretty blue. And that is going to be number three. So let me just start from the top and let me look down. I appreciate everybody's patience. Sometimes it's hard to find the ABs. However, with Diamond Art Club, they make it really easy. Um, because our charting is just amazing. So we have some blue AB in this part here and kind of going around. That's gonna look awesome. Using it to highlight the area. We have some highlighting on the edge here. I often, if I see something here, I often go to the exact same spot on the other side. Uh, sometimes you'll find paintings are symmetrical like that. Other times they're not. There's none on that side. Um, So there's a few in his nose, in the bridge of his nose. And then here as well, the outside here. We've got some over here in the, I don't know what you call that of the dragon, how they have this kind of webbing around their head. I'm not sure if that has a name or not. If it does, let me know if you're a dragon expert. And then I'm just, I'm just quickly looking at the base of the canvas. I don't think I'm seeing any of the blue AB down there. Again, there wasn't very much in the package, uh, not much at all. So it's mostly to highlight the, the lighter areas you're seeing in his eyebrows, in his nose, and then on this element here. Okay, next is 129, which is the uh, <laughs> orange. This is not orange, this is yellow, 129. That's number four. So let's start at the top. I'm not seeing any, not seeing any there. I First spot I'm seeing some is here and here in his little nose here too. So his nose is really gonna sparkle in here as well. Some down through here. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that I'm still on camera. Um, some down on both sides here. A few over here and some over here. That looks like that's his thumb. So at the base of the nail. We have some in the middle here. We also have quite a bit. Again, I'm not. Let me pull this up. In here. So right in the middle um, is going to be actually our white AB. So here as well and here. So it's that little, uh, it's a white box with that little tiny black square. That's gonna be our white AB and then outlining that is the yellow AB. So that's gonna look really pretty up here as well. Got more yellow AB in there, 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 here and here and up here. Awesome. What is next? The white one. So as I showed you in that area, and then yeah, we do have some sprinkled up here. So at the very top here, where you're seeing these little white specks is gonna be a white AB. Same, but there's a few over here and there's a bunch over here, those little white dots. And then in his eye, in the white of his eye, there's a few of the white AB. 
couple dots around here as well there the tip of his nose there's going to be some right in that spot there and then this area here and this area whoops sorry so i said this area and then this area here it's hard to look at a canvas and look at the camera at the same time uh, i think i missed some of the yellow ab in here so there's a few more in this area here and then yeah as i said there's white 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 and then in the uh whites that you might see of the uh nails here that's also a white ab and then a little bit there i think that's it for our ab's there were five yes and our last one is going to be the fairy dust so that's right it's a yellow fairy dust Let's see if you can see these any better I wish, wish there was a magical way to make these lie flat. I think most people know what fairy dust are now. They are basically a, a type of glitter drill that's a lot more subtle. Uh, has a very beautiful shine, um, similar to eyeshadow uh, or mica powder, if you know what mica powder is. So that fairy dust, that is the letter J. So let's see, we do have some in his the middle of his eye. We have some up here, these yellow specks are gonna be that fairy dust as well. I'm not seeing any on this side. I do see some down here. Not on this side though. I see some here. Some in here. So with the fairy dust I find they're sprinkled very nicely throughout the entire canvases usually and it just gives this very subtle glistening effect we're seeing a lot more of it kind of down here at the uh of course yellow part of the canvas right kind of like duh all through here there's a whole bunch of fairy dust all through here is fairy dust it's into here as well some coming down here and here outlining yeah, so outlining some of his nails and his uh, digits or his fingers. There's going to be some of that fairy dust. It's mixed in with some other DMC colors as well. Some plain ones. Around this element here, there's going to be fairy dust, fairy dust, fairy dust, fairy dust down through here. So all down through here, through here, kind of outlining. Outlining down here as well, around here down here in this area here this swirl here is all fairy dust same with this swirl lines here swirls all these swirls the light yellow swirls on the canvas are going to be the fairy dust and then as i said for this these big elements here that have the white in the middle then the uh, yellow ab so white ab yellow ab and then there's a regular color and then the next layer is going to be a fairy dust so we're seeing that in this area this area and this area lots of fairy dust around the outside of here 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 as well all this outline is going to have some fairy dust in it so i think this kit is going to shine brilliantly once she has diamonds down i wish i could can i zoom out anymore I wish I could kit her up and work on her right away. I have to be honest, I've never done a dragon before, but uh, when I saw this one, I just thought the colors were beautiful. Purple's my favorite color, and right away the, the purple elements up at the top here really jumped out at me. And then I always find a, a painting like this that has a focal area that is bright like this is really good for blinging up. So if you want to add in any other diamonds, Aside from what Diamond Art Club already charts in, sometimes I'll add in extra crystals, for example, just for another depth into a painting. But uh, I, I think I'm probably going to leave this as charted because she's got five ABs and one fairy dust already and a lot of the yellow fairy dust, which I love to see. Uh, that's become one of my favorite special diamonds. Let me know in the comments your favorite special diamond. Uh, if you are loving Diamond Art Club's Fairy Dust Diamonds as well, I, I love them. One, because they're they're not finicky to place like ABs. With ABs, you might hear from time to time people complaining about um, the wax um, being pulled out of their pen. And that's just because of the AB coating on the diamonds. For some reason, it's almost like it's sticky or something. But um, 
I did see Diamond Art Club comment in their Facebook group that they were going to look into the issue. It's, it's, well, it's not really a problem. It's just annoying, right? Uh, fairy dust diamonds, though, you don't experience that at all. So I really love the fairy dust diamonds and I love the shine that they give to a painting. Let me know what you guys think of the painting. If you made it to the end of the video, leave me a little dragon emoji if there is such a thing. Or something related to dragon, a fire emoji maybe, uh, or an egg, because there's a golden egg in this. Uh, leave that emoji down below and let me know if this is going on your wish list. So when is this releasing? That's important. October 14th is when this painting is going to release. So this video goes up Friday, so it will be tomorrow, uh, October 14th. As far as I know, they're releasing at the regular times. So that would be 9.30 a.m. Pacific time for general release, 12.30 p.m. Uh, sorry, Eastern time for general release, okay? Uh, if you are part of the Diamond or Ruby Rewards tier, you are gonna get early access. That's typically closer to 45 minutes before drop time. So used to be 30. Uh, some email providers, they, they, they hold the emails a little longer uh, instead of shooting it right out to the recipient. So Diamond Art Club has increased their um, VIP release time by 15 minutes. So you're going to get your VIP email anywhere from about uh, 8.45 until 9.30. Hopefully not 9.30. Um, I always check my email at 8.45. I start refreshing the email, especially if there's a new release that I really want. We are very lucky these days that Diamond Art Club does tend to uh, guess quite quite correctly uh, most of the time for in terms of how popular a painting is going to be and having enough so, so everybody who wants to get one can. There are instances though when an artwork uh, outsells what was initially uh, predicted. Uh, if that's the case, if a painting does sell out, don't worry. Sign up for the email notifications. Often when a painting sells out like that these days, Diamond Art Club actually rushes production to get more kits. So uh, definitely sign up for email notifications if a painting you wanted sells out. The other thing is, if you are in that VIP release and a painting sells out, you still have one more chance at general release to get your painting. So don't forget that. So if, if 9.15 comes and this painting is sold out, be ready at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time to snag it. What I used to do is start refreshing the website at 9.29 so that when it flips over to 9.30, get the kit you want and check out as fast as you can. Luckily, uh, not to worry anybody who's new, things don't sell out like that uh, crazy anymore because Diamond Art Club uh, has a lot more stock for us. But those were the old days, right, guys? Those of you that have been around a while. Um, anyway, yes, she is releasing October 14th, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern, and then at 45 minutes prior to those two times if you are diamond or ruby let me know if this is on your list if you're going to buy it or if you are going to wish list it uh, also as i mentioned earlier take a look at the artist's website she has some very interesting bios and uh, information on different artworks that she's created and, and where where the artwork comes from and uh, she's a great storyteller so take a look at her website i will have that link down below if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy you're here. Uh, if you stuck out to the end, you're awesome. I think you would like it here. So uh, hit that subscribe button and you can click the notification bell to be notified when I do post new videos as well. And um, also join us over on Facebook, Licensed DP Fans Canada. And uh, just a great extension of the YouTube channel where we can interact a little bit more. Um, anyways, that's it for this sneak peek. I can't wait to work on this. I'm going to have to fit her in sometime soon. Um, yeah, until the next video, happy diamond painting, guys. Bye.